Hello everyone, this is Mayank and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to discuss about one particular stock which is the infrastructure sector. So before I get into all these details of the stock, the fundamentals of it, the business of it, the opportunity what we have in this stock, I'll give you a brief description about what is national infrastructure pipeline which is given by the Indian government for the next five years. So this is a Wikipedia page for it. So if you can see clearly over here, it's a group of social and economic infrastructure projects in India over a period of five years with an initial sanctioned amount of 102 lakh crores. So this is a huge amount of money which government of India is going to spend on the inf improving the infrastructure of India as a country overall. Out of this, the entire uh, plan of five years around, if you see in details, further down the line, the investment is around 1-1 lakh crores over the next five years to build infrastructure projects and drive economic growth. Out of this, energy, roads, railways and urban projects will be accounting of total of 70%. So 70% of this entire money will be invested in this kind of investment where they'll improve the energy. Energy in the sense all kind of energy, the renewable energy, non-renewable energy, the pipelines of gas, transform, gas, CNG, everything will be part of energy. Roads, if you see roads, tolls, all those things will be part of road infrastructure, bridges and all those things. Railways, if you see outlining the railway lines, improving the lines, putting up new stations and all these will be part of railway projects. And there are other urban projects like drinking water projects and some kind of elect electrification and all those things will come under urban projects. And there are many more things we can go in detail if you want to know all about this. But 70% of 1, 1, 1 lakh crores, that means around 70, 77,000 crores of money will go into this kind of investments. Otherwise, center is 39%, state has 40% in the case of implementing these projects. While remaining 21% are in the private sector. So, total uh, government is spending around 80% uh, total from both center and uh, state in this entire uh, national implementation project. So what I'm why I'm showing this because infrastructure is going to be a big, very big uh, sector for India in the coming next five years or ten years if you see. And when talking infrastructure, it's not just one thing. So it's a lot of things. Energy I told you is energy for fuel, uh, non-renewable energy, renewable energy, so many things. So there are a lot of stocks which you can cover in all these sectors. You already have a lot of stocks listed in different which impact the different sectors: energy, roads, railways, urban, everything. Out of which you need to pick the best possible stocks, which can be a multi-bagger for us with a strong fundamentals, strong uh, technicals, and strong management behind it, a strong history of records. So those kind of companies we can choose that can make us a good amount of money, and if we stay invested in this company, and if we keep following the company. So we have a baseline set by the Indian government for the next five years: what to choose, what not to choose. On the same lines, I have selected one particular stock today. You can see already is Likita Infrastructure, if you can see, read over here. So we'll discuss about Likita Infrastructure today. We'll uh, discuss all the details of the company and see if it properly fits the bill, if it properly fits the NIP, what we have seen. So this is, is basically NIP, right? So before I get into all the details, uh, first thing, this is not my recommendation. I'm not a financial advisor. If you're uh, if you are here to take any financial advice, you are in the wrong place. This is only an educational based channel. I am only discussing what I understand is my opinion. It's not a suggestion. If you are, if you want to take a suggestion, please consult a financial advisor. This channel is only for educational purpose and only for referential purpose. And if you like the content, if you like what I have done and what I am doing, if it is helpful for you, find value enough, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, uh, add your comments if you have any feedback and uh, let me know what I can do further to improve the video. So let's jump into the stock discussion first. So what is Likita infrastructure does? So if you go into the services, you will likely go down there, you can see what these companies does and everything. So see they're into terminals, setting up cross country pipeline, setting up CNG station, setting up terminals for transportation of gases, laying up, laying of pipeline, so pipeline laying, then they have a team of construction what they're showing here. If we click on services over here, then we can uh, list some of the services in detail. So let's let it load. So yeah, as I told you, they have a cross-country pipeline link, city gas distribution network, and they have operational maintenance services as well. So this kind of services they do. Okay. And now if you see, they have a lot of projects was they implemented. It's already completed projects. So if we go down further, they have this up for Antika Gas Limited. They have done uh, a laying of MDP network and associated work for indoor. Then Avantika Gas Limited, one more project, Avantika, Avantika, Avantika. There's a lot of projects that this for Avantika. For Gale also, they did a few projects. For uh, Indraprastha Gas Limited, they did a lot of projects. For ONGC, they all did a few projects. For Indalol, Adani Gas, they did a few projects. So these companies dealing with all the major 
uh, companies, energy companies in India. And we all know if you see India's uh, demand of uh, gas, uh, natural, natural gas, the demand of CNG is going to increase a lot in the future because people are moving uh, for more uh, uh, less pollution oriented uh, fuels. Right? So CNG is one of those fuels which are very less pollution oriented and the demand of CNG is going to increase further in the future. So we see EV as something which is playing out very fast in India. But the adoption of EV is not as fast as we thought or is not going to become as fast as we think right now. It will take its own course of time. But in that time frame, the adoption of CNG will become even more faster compared to EV. And since a lot of companies which are into EV, if you say Indra Prastha gas is into EV, so not EV, is into a CNG, then they have a, a Indian oil, ONGC also have a CNG division. So these kind of companies, Likita and other companies which are in the same domain, they are getting getting a lot of projects because this thing is happening and EV is going to happen. So right now this is going to get grow faster than EV. If you see from a implementation perspective. And now for this company point of view, if you see their ongoing projects, they have a lot of projects which are already in progress. So we'll just see the list of them. So Gale India, they're doing a lot of projects for Gale India. You can see the count is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven projects they're doing for Gale India. HPCL they're doing one, Indraprastha Gas, so IG. L, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They're doing for IGL. For Adani they're doing one, IOC they're doing three. ONGC they're doing, Torrent Gas they're doing, IOC few more are there so they're doing lot and lots of projects that are already in the progress and they are going, going going to get more projects because their fundamentals are very very strong so this is the all about the business what this company does and very small thing and they don't they're not diversified business they're only only into pipeline laying in their operation and maintenance but they have very good strong clients they have let's go to fundamentals and see what the fundamentals they have so this is a very small cap company kind of micro cap 605 crores only they got uh, ipo got uh, 421 only right it's a new company on stock market the current price 342 which is almost 30 uh, percent less than the 25 percent less than their uh, peak and the stock is quite attractive it's only 15.7 roc is very good 20 30 point 34.9 ro is 26 it's a very good roe the best part about this is the most attractive part is promoter holding 74.1 percent they have almost whatever they can in terms of promoter holding so 74 percent is something the max close to max and five percent so they have 74.1 percent this close to max what this company can have or promoters can have basically if you see debt there's a zero debt company and they have a profit of 29 crores so being in a field which is very capital intensive if you see this business laying out pipeline operation operation and maintenance having a human workforce for that is a very capital intensive business in spite of that they have a debt of zero crore and they have profit of 29 crore and there is small there's a micro cap it's a micro cap company so keeping these things, uh, especially the debt and the promoter holding, this company is poised for growth. When I say growth, because the moment they want to get some contract, whether it's lots of investment, since they're debt free, they can easily get some uh, loans on that money. And also since promoter holding is 74.1%, they can always dilute a couple of percentage of the promoter holding and get more money from the market to implement some bigger projects. So they have this thing uh, power with them so that they can uh, uh, get more money in their business to implement some bigger projects and eventually grow their company not many company has this flexibility and has this ability to take loan or become debt come good debt so since this company is debt free with good promoter holding they have all these options to take money from the market and uh, in, grow their company even faster if you see the growth of the company from uh, just look of a yearly perspective so they started with sales of 13 crores. If you see from 18, 31, 39, every year they increased apart from 2015. And post that, 54, 107, 87, 139, 161, 191, and trailing 12 months, 247 crores. So if you see from here, almost every year they have grown in terms of sales. And net profit, if you see, they are doing every year, they are growing from 2, 3, 8, 7, 18, 20, 49, 43. So trailing 12 months, 43 crores of net profit. So this company is doing good for the last 10 years. They are a very small company, very niche based company, but now they have started growing very fast and since they are publicly traded company right now. If you see share capital, the share capital from 4 crores increased to 20 crores and reserves have increased from 3 crores to 151 crores, especially from 2015 onwards from 14 crore to become to 151 crores, so almost 10 to 11 times they have increased in the last span of uh, 6 years. So this is a good growth in terms of reserves also. Further, if you see the borrowings, the borrowings are always, it was there in the middle, 4 crore, 15 crore, 
14 crore, 10 crore, but they reduce it to zero. So they are a complete debt free company. That's a very, very good point, isn't telling it multiple times. Let's go to promoter holding. Promoter is 74.1%, FIS is 0.13%. FIS increased their holding in December quarter from 0 0.09 to 0 0.13. And uh, public, if you see public holding, it's 25.76. So they reduced little bit. So whatever public has sold is consumed by FIIs. So if you, FIIs has belief in this company, and that's the reason they have, they are increasing their uh, holdings in the company. If you see there uh, some strong holders, Padam Chand Mehta and H Square Globe Trade uh, LP, they have around uh, combined they have around 4% stake in the case of public. So if you reduce that part around 20, 21 and 22% uh, is there with the public only so that's a good uh, holding if you see a uh, good shareholding pattern so everything looks good from this uh, numbers point of view i'll show one more thing in the case of ticker tape so since i have taken a pro checklist of uh, likita infrastructure of basically ticker tape so you can see here the intrinsic value the current price less than intrinsic value returns fd uh they give more return than the fd in the pro checklist if you see their default probability is very low and quality checks is insufficient data and growth score insufficient data so we can't get those things if you uh, dig down further then we have to see if these are charts so the charts is growth is there for every year t8.61 140162192 they're increasing their sales and similarly if you see in profit also 7.2 17.85 20.2 point 28.9 so they're growing company and uh, so these all signs are good for this company right from ticker type perspective also now I'll show you one more thing which is very important for me which I think for a small cap company we need to look into and that thing is called face value. So if the face value is 10 there is always a chance in the future when I say future I don't mean immediate future it might come after 6 months might come after 6 years also but whenever a company has a face value of 10 there is a very good chance that they will go for uh, if the company does good in the future there is a good chance that they will go for split. So when they go for split you will have more shares so face value will reduce. So it's Split and bonus shares we can discuss sometime later, but this is something which I personally look into uh, phase below of any company which is a small cap or micro cap, micro cap company because this gives me confidence that this company can go for split and bonus and I can have more shares which will eventually become bigger. One example of stock split and stock uh, bonus, the impact of that is a Wipro share. So there are a lot of videos on YouTube you can see or you can read how the stock split and how the bonus shares of Wipro made uh, people billionaire in India. So any small cap micro company I'll suggest you would look for face value. If it is 1 or 2, that opportunity stock split is not there. But something with 10, there's definitely stock split opportunity is there if the company is good. Now let's jump into the charts. So two parts are business is over, fundamental analysis is over. Now see if chart what does the opportunity say in terms of short term. So before I discuss the chart of Likita, I'll tell you first thing is that this is not only a short term opportunity based company. This company can be a long term uh, company also investment uh, company also. So you can invest in short term if you are in that kind of investment uh, opinion. But if you are looking for a company which can do wonders for in long term, keep a track of this company, follow this company. You can choose to invest also if you think all the information whatever is shared is good enough is valuable for you and you can make a decision based only on this. Otherwise, I'll suggest you to do your own research also. Let's jump to chart. So this is a very very strong support. This has been a support from August itself. It's almost close to seven months, six months now. So August was support. Same support it took here again bounce back. Same support it took here uh, again bounce back. So just to highlight this part, this is one support, and then this is one support, and this is one support again is bounced back. So and now this company is slowly going parallel here, like on the same lines here. It might fall down here then i am suspecting the support will be same so if you see the kind of negative option like the kind of loss what we can make if you invest in the current price then it's only seven seven percent but if you see the positive it can go up to 22.66 percent and if you see real positive what might can happen it might go its all time high also because cng is going to be in demand and nip projects as i told you before that is going to be big money maker for india and all the companies which are in that particular domain so that can go up to 40 percent and i'm not telling this all time possible return this can be a mid-term return when it's ever mid-term it might take one year also if one year uh, one and a half year if you get 40 percent return that it's a good return from my personal opinion so this is what it looks from short term and medium term 
opportunity long term it can be anything it can be anything we have to track and keep following how the company progresses how the company is performing but this at this point in time i find it's a good investment because stock p is quite attractive is only 15.5 if you go on ticker tap and see one thing which i probably missed to showcase you the sector p is 71.64 where there as per uh, ticker tap the p is only 23.42 so p expansion also is possible for three times so if you see three times p expansion that means the price should either go uh, to th more than thousand then only this p will be justified so that is the kind of opportunity what we have from long term perspective so this was the video i hope it makes uh, it's helpful for you uh, the content is little lo longer than the previous videos and the session went little bit in detail so if you think that it's uh, helpful for you it's valuable enough for you let me in the comment section and uh, take your decision before investing thank you so much for watching stay happy stay safe